club isn't the best place to find the lovers So the bar is where I go Me and my friends at the table doing shots Tripping fast and then we talk slow And you come over and start up a conversation with just me And trust me, I'll give it a chance Now I'll take my hand, stop it, and the man on the jukebox And then we start to dance And now I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love Your love was handmade for somebody like me well, Come on now, follow my lead I may be crazy, don't mind me Say, boy, let's not talk too much Grab on my waist and put that body on me well, Come on now, follow my lead Come, come on now, follow my lead mm -hmm. I'm in love with the shape of you We push and pull like a magnet do Although my heart is falling too I'm in love with your body And last night you were in my room And now my bed sheets smell like you Every day discovering something brand new I'm in love with your body 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 Every day discovering something brand new I'm in love with the shape of you When we can, we let the story begin We're going out on our first day You and me are thrifty So go all you can eat Fill up your bag and I fill up the plate We talk for hours and hours About the sweet and the sour And how your family's doing okay And leaving, getting a taxi Kissing the backseat Tell the driver, make the radio play And I'm singing like Girl, you know I want your love Your love was handmade for somebody like me Come on now, follow my lead I may be crazy, don't mind me Say, boy, let's not talk too much Grab on my waist and put that body on me Come on now, follow my lead Circular Bandage a turn is executed around the part of an oblique angle. A small triangle of material is exposed by the oblique turn. The triangle is bent over the first turn, with succeeding turns made over the turned down material locking it in place. After several turns have been made, the bandage is fastened at a point away from the injury. Spiral bandage. The spiral bandage is anchored at the smallest circumference of the limb and is wrapped to proceed upward and in spiral against gravity. To prevent the bandage from slipping down on a moving extremity, it is suggested that two pieces of tape to fold the lengthwise and place on the bandage at either side of the limb. After the bandage is anchored, it is carried upward in consecutive spiral turns each overlapping the other by at least one half inch. The bandage is terminated by locking it with circular turns, which are then firmly secured by tape. Spiral Reverse Turn Bandage is turned over on each turn. It should be made in the same line and angle formed by each reversal. This is accomplished by quite easily by holding the thumb of the left hand at the point where the roller is to be turned. After reversal is made, the direction of the roll of bandage is changed. The triangular bandage is positioned by the trainee under the injured arm of the patient with the apex of the bandage facing the elbow. The end of the triangle nearest the body is carried over the shoulder of the injured arm. The other end is allowed to hang down loosely. The loose end is pulled over the shoulder of the uninjured side. The two ends of the bandage are tied in square knot behind the neck for the sake of comfort and the knot should be either side of the neck, not directly in the middle. The apex of the triangle is brought around the front of the elbow and fastened with safety pin.
shoulder arm sling. The shoulder arm sling is suggested for forearm support when there is an injury to the shoulder girdle or when the cervical arm sling is irritated to the patient. Materials needed. One triangular bandage and one safety pin. Position of the trainee. The trainee stand facing the patient. Position of the patient. The patient stand with his injured arm bent at approximately a 70 degree angle. So the procedure are the upper end of the shoulder sling is placed over the uninjured side. The lower end of the triangle is brought over the forearm and drawn between the upper arm and the body. Swinging around the patient's back and then upward to meet the other end, where a square knot is tied. The apex end of the triangle is brought around to the front of the elbow, fastened with a safety pin. The sling and swat. The sling and swat combination is designed to stabilize the arm securely in cases of the shoulder dislocation of fracture. Head recurrent bandage. Procedure are place the basic anchor around the head, making certain that it lies just above the eyebrows anteriorly and just below the occiput posteriorly. With the bandage at the back of the head, make a recurrent turn in such a manner that the bandage is directed over the center of the head toward the forehead. Have the patient or an assistant hold the patient of the recurrent turn in place. Continue the bandage to the bottom of the basic anchor in the middle of the forehead, then make another recurrent fold directing toward the back of the head. However, instead of returning the bandage across the center of the head, cover one half preceding near the bandage toward the patient left. The operator holds the fold of the recurrent turn of the patient forehead. Continue the same procedure, alternating the bandage in such manner that each turn coming forward covers one half, the preceding turn directed backward cover one half, the preceding turn on the patient left. The folds of recurrent turns on the forehead and occiput are anchored with several circular turns around the head. The bandage is secured by tying or with adhesive plaster. The recurrent bandage of the head, employing the single ruler bandage, is used to retain large dressing on the scalp. It can be employed only when the patient or an assistant is able to gold the recurrent folds at the back of the head. However, if one of the new type latex impregnated bandage is used, no assisting hand is needed. The bandage tackiness will anchor the fold. Double roller. Prepare double roller. Eventually, label bandage in the left hand number 1 and the bandage in the right number 2. Place knot under occiput. Bring bandage to forehead. Cross number 2 over the number 1 and carry number 1 over the neck. Encircle number 2 over the head and over number 1 at neck. Carry number 1 forward again, covering half of the preceding turn on the right, bring number 1 to center of forehead and overlay it with circular turn of number 2 bandage. Repeat procedure as above, each turn going toward neck covers half a turn on patient's left and each turn directed toward forehead covers half and preceding turn on right and terminate with circular turns and secure by tying.
jaw bandage. Bandages applied properly can be used to hold dressings and to stabilize dislocation or fracture of the jaw. The bandage is started by encircling the jaw and in front of both ears several times. The bandage is locked by a number of turns around the head. Each of the two sets of turn is fastened with tape strips. Eye bandage For cases in which the bandage is needed to hold a dressing on an eye, the following procedure is suggested. The bandage is started with a series of three circular turns around the head, then brought obliquely down the back of the head. From behind the head to the bandage is carried forward as underneath the earlobe and upward, crossing respectively the cheekbone the injured eye, and the bridge of the nose. It is then returned to the original circular turns. The head is encircled by the bandage. The procedure is repeated with each wrap overlapping at, the, at least two-thirds or the underlying materials over the injured eye. Then at least the three series have been applied over the injured eye. The bandage is locked after completion of the circular turn around the head. Shoulder figure of 8 or figure of 8 of the clavicle. Place end of the bandage over the lateral part of the left shoulder. Carry the bandage diagonally downward across the shoulder blades through the right armpit and then over the lateral aspect of the right shoulder. Continue the bandage diagonally again across the shoulder blade and through the left armpit to the starting point. Repeat the procedure for several additional turns. Each turn should overlap about one-third of the preceding turn. Secure the end of the bandage by pinning the underlying layers or with a chief plaster. Shoulder spica. The shoulder spica is used predominantly for the retention of wound, dressing, or analgesic bone packs and for moderate muscular support. The axilla must be well padded to prevent skin irritation and constriction of blood vessels. The bandage is anchored by one turn around the affected upper arm. After anchoring the bandage around the arm on the injured side, the wrap is carried around the back under the unaffected arm and across the chest to the injured shoulder. The affected arm is again encircled by the bandage continuing around the back. Every figure of 8 pattern moves progressively upward with an overlap of at least one half of the previous underlying wrap. First, anchor the bandage by encircling the lower arm. Next, bring the roll obliquely upward over the posterior aspect of the elbow. Next, carry the roll obliquely upward, crossing the antecubital fossa. Then pass once again completely around the upper arm and return to the beginning position by again crossing the antecubital fossa. Continue the procedure as described. But for every new sequence, move upward toward the elbow, one half the width of the underlying wrap. A figure of eight bandage of wrist and hand can be used for wrist and hand support as well as for holding dressing in place. 
the anchor is executed with one or two turns around the palm of the hand. The roll is then carried obliquely across the anterior or posterior portion of the hand, depending on the position of the wood, to the wrist ones. Then it is returned to the primary anchor, as many figures as are applied. Finger bandage. The finger bandage can be used to hold dressings or tongue depressor splints in place. It is applied in a fashion similar to that used for the demigauntlet, with the exception that a spiral is carried downward to the tip of the finger and then back up to finish around the wrist. Demigondlet bandage. The demigondlet bandage holds dressing on the dorsum of the hand and also offers support and protection to knuckles. The bandage is anchored by circular bandage at the wrist. The roll is carried between the fourth and little finger, encircling the little finger and is brought once again across back of the hand to the wrist. The wrist is again encircled by the roll which is carried to the next finger consecutively until all the digits and thumb are completed. Locking is executed at the risk. Hip spike the hip spike serves two purposes holding analgesic packs in place and go offering a mild support to the injured hip adductors or flexors. Start the end of the roll at the upper part of the thigh, anchoring the end by encircling the thigh two times, then move up the thigh to the groin. Then the groin has been reached, take the roll to the side of the hip, then up to the low back area, then winding it to the opposite waist. Finish the cycle by rolling down the initial area of the bandage crossing the first crossing or overlapping. Continue to perform the bandage cycles upward achieving several patterns of the overlapping. Leg figure of 8. As with other figure of 8 bandages, the leg type is used for keeping dressing in position, for holding splints in place, and for giving mild or moderate muscle support. An anchor is applied by means of circular turns around the ankle. A strip is carried diagonally upward to a point where one complete circular turn is executed. The roll is then carried downward crossing the spiral strip to finish one figure of 8. The procedure is repeated until the injured site is thoroughly covered. 